All right, originally I purchased these SV Boney LRGB filters for the simple reason that I could not afford anything nicer than these. These were only 120 bucks. They are one and a quarter mounted filters. And I gotta say that after two years, I still haven't bought a higher end brand. All right, so let me give you an overview. On SV Boney's website, they, they give a transmission chart of these filters taken with a spectrograph and they show almost 95% transmission with these filters. The images that I get to these things are very bright and they're very tack sharp. Nice shallow bezel on the filter itself, the mounting, because these are quarter 20 filters and because of that nice shallow bezel, so to speak, they don't like interfere at all when you're using a faster scope because I do use a faster scope with one of my rigs. It's an F5.1. Only negative thing that I have to say about these filters is that on the back sides, the anti-reflection coating, this is the back side, it's not that great. And there's the front side right there. In comparison, this is a Botter filter. This is actually an O3 filter. And if you look at the front, of course it's very reflective. On the back side though, the reflection is like a darker color. And that's because of the anti-reflection coating that it has. Okay, let's sum up the review. So. The pros of these filters is that one, they have very high transmission rates for their respective you know, band passes, the so R, G, and B. And then the drop offs in them is nice and sharp, which is great. It means that the halos on them don't really look weird around bright stars. The other nice thing about them is the bezels on them is very thin. That's kind of a nice feature. That's actually kind of essential if you're shooting with a faster scope. I know this guy right here, he's an F5 scope, and I absolutely have to have those thin bezels in order to work with this particular scope. Now, what these filters are great for and what you should buy them for is if you're going after galaxies, which galaxies are very low contrast targets, and that's exactly how I use these things. I use these things with this scope right here to go after galaxies. And then, lower contrast targets which you know there are a bunch of those out there but it's just it's basically going to limit you as to what you can photograph and then another thing that you <laughs> these photos are actually really good for is planetary astrophotography so if you're looking for you know just a side gig you know you do your main main line narrowband imaging like i do almost everything that i do is narrowband except for galaxies and planetary astrophotography and in that case i break out these and so it was a really cheap solution it's actually a solution that's worked well for me for two years and I don't really think I'm ever really going to get a set to replace these. I might get a 31 millimeter set in the future but that will be because I changed scopes and I have to go to a 31 millimeter if I get something that's faster than f5 because with my particular camera the 1600 those cameras with their four third sensors you you can only go up to an f5 scope with a mounted filter you'll need to go to an unmounted filter in order to go to something you know faster but that kind of sums up my review i think they're a great buy and you should definitely consider them